Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. It has been a minute since I've been here with all of you. I hope everyone is doing well. Um, I just got blasted with a storm of rain, so I'm a little bit of a drenched rat, but you know what? I can't complain because we need the rain so bad here. So, oh my gosh, I hope everyone is doing good. It's been a while. Um, first time I've been back to Dollar Tree um, in probably just shy of a week. Um, I don't know. I I go to a couple of stores pretty faithfully. I have like forever and I love shopping. Um, I love my Dollar Trees. I always have. But lately, I don't know. I'm just not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. And super big disappointment. I mean, I guess I shouldn't say disappointment. Um, what I probably should say is, well, it's a disappointment for me. Um, so I'm just speaking for me went into one of my Dollar Trees that I kind of frequently go in all the time and I went back to a section of the freezer section and um, I'm seeing all these new things and I'm thinking, wow, man, that's a great deal for a buck and a coin. Only to come to find out that mm -mm, this whole new section is $3 and $5. And I was like, oh my gosh. So it appears that I don't know if the whole store is going. Well, I guess, I guess if you have some in the store, it's considered Dollar Tree Plus now. So that was like, I know some of you really like the Plus stores and I'm not knocking them, but it just says to me that the buck and a coin is going to be a buck 50, buck 75, two, and it's just going to climb. It's just going to climb. I guess it's inevitable. Um, our prices are getting higher everywhere we go. Things are getting smaller. Um, everything is just so expensive. No matter where you go, no matter what you're doing, it is expensive, no matter what it is. Okay, so enough of this. Um, brand new Dollar Tree haul I'd like to share with all of you. Um, I need to cut my bangs. They're just like way too long here and they're still a little bit wet. I threw this headband on and my hair is just soaking wet. Okay, anyways, brand new Dollar Tree haul. Let's start off with, I found some new candles. Now, I don't see a brand name per se, um, which I thought was a little weird, but then again, I still don't have my regular glasses yet, so that could be part of the problem. But I, I've kind of looked up and down everywhere I could. Anyways, these are in a glass jar. They are five ounces, not the three or the four ounce. These are five ounces, nice screw top lid. Um, they do have a wonderful scent. They're very pretty. Uh, could definitely be reused for another candle or something else. They have a nice smell. What I like about these smells, they're not like jump in your face aroma. Um, it's kind of something you want to sniff and then it comes to you in a little bit. Anyways, the scent is clementine and ginger. I haven't had a clementine in I couldn't tell you how many years. It's been a long time. So there is that one right there. I found three other ones. The next scent, and they're all five ounces. This one is green apple and basil. So that one looks like that. No labels on the outside, just pure glass. The next one I have here is bay leaf and citrus, and it's in this pretty yellow color. And there it is. You can see my Halloween tree here in the background. I have all the lights on it now. Um, and I just got an extension cord for it, so I'm going to be plugging that sucker in and getting it going very, very soon. We're going into, what, less than two weeks of September, and we're going to be in October already. Last candle, grapefruit and cardamom. And it looks like that. Really pretty, pretty like coral color, but not real dark coral, a light coral. All right, so... Couple new cups. I love my cups. I always like finding cups at Dollar Tree because for the buck and the coin, even though it's, you know, another quarter, it's still a pretty cup. All right, this one here, and it has the design on the front and the back, your standard coffee size. My favorite people have paws, and they sure do. My favorite people definitely have paws, so I had to get me one of those. So again, there's the front and the back. They had another one here all about my coffee, but it says just brew it. And I thought that was really cute. It's fun, it's got your little coffee, if you will, if you want to have coffee, or you could consider that tea if you want. It says just brew it. So I'm gonna say coffee or tea, 
whatever you prefer or both. Again, on the front and the back. Last but not least design, and this would be fun just to put on a desk for a makeup table. Dream big, because look at those big sexy eyelashes got going on there. And again, it's on the front and it's on the back. Like I don't have enough coffee cups. Oy! And speaking of cups, these are paper cups. A uh, little bird told me that they're no longer going to be carrying styrofoam at the Dollar Trees. So, don't hold me to that. I'm just passing the word from another bird. I'm passing the word from another bird. Um, I don't know how true this is because I do not work for Dollar Tree. I'm not employed by them. So, this is just word of mouth from word of mouth I heard, but I was informed that Dollar Tree is knocking all styrofoam, is going to be gone. No more styrofoam cups, plates, nothing. So, with that being said, they have these and you get four in a package. These are the hot cold cups. What I liked about these is look at the design, which I thought is perfect for a hot cocoa bar, a coffee bar, whatever kind of bar you want to have. So you get the little sleeves that keep you from hopefully burning your fingers too much. But look at the design on these cups I thought were really cool. <clears throat> All the way around, can you see? Coffee, coffee, coffee. And then they have every day is a coffee day. Um, someone say coffee. Coffee vibes, good vibes, um, everyday coffee day, someone say coffee, coffee vibes, I think those are the only ones, but how fun is that, right? So, you know, say you've got some of the girls or some friends coming over, getting ready to go shopping, and you want to take your coffee to go, and you didn't bring your Starbucks mug or whatever mug you use, perfect for that, so great for a coffee bar. All right, let me move these out of my way here. All right, let's kind of stay a little bit like housewares kind of things. Um, <clears throat> even though this is kind of holiday, but this is kind of houseware in my opinion. Actually, no, let me show you these. For those of you that get your toilet paper at Dollar Tree, normally you get, um, if you go with that strong and soft brand that Dollar Tree has, you get four rolls to a package for the buck and a coin. I found the same brand and you get six rolls. So you're getting two extra, which is a definitely good bonus. Um, so for a buck and a coin, you get six. I actually grabbed a few of them because, hey, if you can get, whoops, as I'm breaking things in my basket over here, if you can get um, two more extra rolls for that buck and a coin, you can't beat that. Um, so I always try to look out, and especially around this time of the year, I tend to see the toilet paper bonus buys, the tissue bonus buys. So, yeah, for sure, that's definitely worth the buck and the coin. All right, so staying with kind of like housewares, kitchens, and things, they had these, and I thought, how pretty would these look with a tea light in them, with a real candle in there, if you want to put it in there, you know, like a tea light, regular tea light candle outside, hanging. Um, even though we're getting ready to start doing more indoor stuff, depending on where you live, um, there's still some outside time yet. So I'm just fixing the tag here. So these are made by Shore Living. They're three, uh, three and a half inches by five inches. They're done in glass. They have this metal silver hanger right here, which is about the consistency of like a, um, I was gonna say hanger, but that's almost too thick, a little bit thinner than a hanger. And then there is your glass jar. You can see it's got this beautiful edging here, but it doesn't feel that on the outside, it's soft. You know, it's they've taken care of it, it's smoothed down, but really pretty so it's definitely going to get the light reflecting back off of there if you have something lit inside but they had that color which is like a light sea blue and then they had this pretty dark blue and i just love the two together to me that's just like outside by the beach um i just thought these were pretty i hadn't seen these earlier in the year like closer to summer or i would have nabbed those because i just think those are really pretty and there's always just fun things you can do with them. Put, if you want, totally just get rid of this piece altogether because it just pops on and off the rim there. Use it for a vase. Use it, put it, put a candle, a tea light in there, put it in your bathroom. You can still do lots of other things, but the glass piece itself is definitely worth the buck and the coin. All right. I found some new dish towels. And, you know, right now Dollar Tree is just a hot mess. And it's because it's... <laughs> They're moving in this new three to five stuff. They have, they're still pushing some back to school, even though kids are back to school. They have Halloween, they have Christmas. 
And yes, I saw Valentine's Day already too. And I'm just like, no way, that's way too soon for me. So I am guilty of a couple Christmas things, but nothing too major. I promise you that. I'm just so not ready yet. All right, so with that being said, I couldn't snooze on these because this is just adorable. Oh, it's a set of two pot holders. And OMG, look at these little gnomies and the turkeys. These are so cute. These are really nicely done. The print, I think, is awesome. It's like spot on. It's not like goofy, dorky looking. It's just cute. It speaks total fall, total Thanksgiving. So you get a set of two. Then they had the mitt, which matches identically to the actual pot holders themselves. I also found these, which have absolutely nothing to do with those, because I'm just gonna take you over real quick to Christmas and bring you right on back. Okay, talk about some gnomies. Again, I love the kitchen towels, but the ones that are the microfiber, I just, for me, they don't suck up anything. So they end up just being adornishments on my cabinets. Um, I hang them on dish racks in the kitchen. I just put them all over the place. I definitely don't do anything else because they just don't wipe up. Chilling with my gnomies for sure. So if you pay attention to this dude's hat right here, there's a lot of things at Dollar Tree that have these little gnomies right now. Um, I just am not all into these specific ones. Um, I don't know. That, that's just me though, but they match. So if you're looking to match stuff up, pay attention. And the design is on the front and the back. Got myself two of those because those are being sent to somebody in a friend mail then staying in christmas for just another moment season's greetings from our gnome to yours there you go there is the design now if you're looking at it going it's kind of faded yeah it is a little bit but they were all like that i'm not saying it's not pretty but these colors are i'll bring it in a little bit closer they are like liquided out watered out i should say I got another one just so you could see. They're all basically the exact same. Let me remove the tags. I'll flip them around. They're all the same like that, but they're still adorable. All right, let's get out of dish towels for a while. Let's move over to the craft section just super quick because they had, sorry, <laughs> my big basket over here. They had a couple things in the craft set. Oh, well, you know what? Let's stay with kitchen one more time. I did pick me up another package of the home store premium napkins. You get, how many do you get in here now? They keep changing. I mean, paper plates went from 60 to, what are they, like 40 now? It, it's crazy. Um, you get 50. These are a little bit thicker. These, I feel like if you at least wipe your mouth or your hands and you have chicken on your face, um, it doesn't like dissipate it because some of the napkins at Dollar Tree, you just touch them and they like disappear in your hands. They're so thin. They just, you know, these are good. These are nice. They're a little bit thicker. So I like to have those around. Okay. So let's jump back over to the crafting section. There's, if you're fortunate enough to have a section at your Dollar Tree that has crafts, um, there's so many fun finds and crafts can be so incredibly expensive too. Um, for those of us that craft, no. But Dollar Tree has, even for the buck and the coin, has some pretty good deals. This one here, um, you get 42 in a package and there's three different colored beads here. So I'm just gonna show this up to you. Let me try to get it, whoops, I got one slipping off my leg because I found multiple colors. So these are great for macrame. Um, if you wanna make yourself a little beaded um, garland to hang off your tiered tray or something like this. This would be perfect. You get three different colors and three different sizes. So here you can see you get like these these gray balls <laughs> and then you have black balls and white balls and you have different sizes and then you go to a smaller version in the same colors. <clears throat> I also found some blue balls. <laughs> oh yeah, Beth. Okay, there they are. Again, you're going to get 42 and you have all the different blues. So you have this darker blue, this lighter blue, and then you get them in the small and the bigger sizes. They also had this great package in browns, which is a lighter brown, a dark brown, and I'm not sure what you're getting right here if it looks neutral. It is, but it's got a little bit of color to it. I wouldn't say it's a complete natural 
there is some paint on it, but it's more of like a, a really, really light beige, if that makes sense. Last but not least, some pink balls. So light pink, dark pink, and white. This is perfect, perfect for making something small and simple to do on a tear tray for decorating. <clears throat> also in the crafting section, bear with me, I did pick up a couple more. All kinds of things going on here down here. I did pick up a couple more of these, and these are the mini glass containers. These are actual glass. The tops screw off. They're done in like a silver tone color. What I use these for is when I'm decorating on my three-tier trees and I want to put something myself together, um, I just fill up what I want in here, decorate the outside, and put it on my tier tray. But I needed a few for Halloween for some things I wanted to make for myself. So I was very, very thankful to find those at Dollar Tree because I really didn't think they were going to have any left because those kinds of things go really fast. All right, so let's take a bounce over to... Oh, before I forget, one more thing in the crafting section. I went to go make taffy apples last week. I had no sticks. I'm like, and my taffy apples are heavy because I usually, after I do the caramel and the nuts, sometimes I'll drizzle chocolate and put different things on there. So I need a really sturdy stick. I couldn't use just a regular popsicle stick. So I'm like, are you kidding me? So I finally got the sticks from Crafter Square, which these are the ones that I do use in my taffy apples. So now, I can get that project done because I've been craving them like crazy. I just ate the regular apples because they were, too, like I said, I didn't have sticks. So, oh my, my bad, I had to eat the apples, but they were so good. Um, there's nothing like having literally a fresh farm a stone's throw away. Okay, so let's jump over to some Halloween-y things, shall we? Always love the cards at Dollar Tree. Always, always love them. Um, I especially love them when they're full of things that I can rip off the cards for crafting purposes or all different things. These are made by Voila. All of these are sealed in plastic, which is actually quite nice for other people touching them. Sometimes you find a card you like, you look it over and there's a booger on the back. Like, really, does someone have to put a booger on the back of the card? Just, you know, pick the tissue out and do the booger thing. Or there's a big mark. I'm just saying, you know, you pick a card, it might be the last one there, you pick it up, you look at it and there's something on it and you're like, ew, this I think is much nicer, nicer for storing. It's just nicer, in my opinion. You get an envelope with each one, which is always nice. This has removable stuff. What I mean by that is the cards by Wala at this time of the year for usually the holidays, they have these types of cards. And for me as a crafter, I will cut stuff out, take stuff off. Sometimes I don't do any of that. This, I just think if you're going to spend the buck and the coin, there's lots of extra things you can do with cards. And that's just something to keep in mind. This one clearly says, boo. Real simple, but it's a cute little ghost. He's got little jiggly eyes there. And on the inside it says, have a spooktacular Halloween. Adorable. Let's see what else we have. This one here, it says trick or treat. There's a lot going on on this one. Look at all that going on. How cute is this? And cards can just be used for so many other things. This one has an awesome purple card, which you can see right down there below, a nice deep purple. May you receive lots of treats and little tricks. Happy Halloween. There it is. And then there is your backside. Again, it's all sealed in plastic, so that's why you might be getting a little bit of glare there. Trick or treat. Look at this one here. Now look at that cute little pumpkin. So if you're giving somebody a gift or something and you need a tag, why not cut this pumpkin out if you don't want to do the whole card? I mean, there's just lots of fun things you can do. So trick or treat. This one has an orange card. Hope your Halloween is a treat. Adorable. And then the backside has all this little candy corn. <clears throat> Excuse me, it's allergy time. Who wishes you a happy Halloween? Now this card has all kinds of stuff going on. So you got a big old spider right up there. There he is. Sorry, I'm trying to get the glare off. And then you have this tag that you could remove if you wanted to. On the inside it says, I do. So it said, who wishes you a happy Halloween? I do. Hope you enjoy the most frightful night of the year. And then this one has the purple envelope as well. And then there's your backside. Last but not least, this year I think is probably more popular for ghosts than anything else, at least in my opinion for what I've seen. Happy Halloween. Halloween fun is in the air. Happy Halloween. 
And then you have a pumpkin on the back with that purple card. So adorable. Too, too cute. All right, so staying with Halloween, have you all seen these? I thought these were pretty cool. Now, these are just being considered decor. It is a wire, which you can see right through here because the light is going to shine right through it because there's my hand. It's mesh. So you have this wire wreath form of a pumpkin. It fits perfectly in your hand. It's a quite a nice size, actually. Then you have this really pretty purple mesh. You have this black mesh on top. And then on the bottom, you have yourself. Let me just pull this little tab out here. It has a little switch with a light that lights up. These are really pretty. How pretty for a centerpiece or I'm not sure how well it's going to look here in the light. Yeah, it's probably going to come off too bright because of the light here. Um, yeah, it's probably going to be too bright. But you kind of get the idea. They light up. Look at that. And they're beautiful. If I can bring, let me try to crop this out of the camera just a little bit. So you can get in a kind of an idea. I don't know if it's meant to flicker or not, but it looks like it kind of is glowing a little bit. At least mine do. I don't know if the battery is going dead or if that's what it's supposed to do, but I think they're really pretty. So here is the purple one. I'm trying to like take away some of the candle part of it there so you get the idea, but there's the purple. And then on top, it's got like this velvet stem. So let me turn this one off. So there it is without the lights, which makes it absolutely beautiful. You don't need lights for this period. You could put a couple of these in the center of a table and just run a little wire fairy light, which is a lot lighter than this one. And how beautiful would that be? So I found one in purple. I also found one in orange. Now this one you're really gonna be able to see on camera because of the bright color. So there's the orange pumpkin. Here's that black mesh, which is cut out it almost looks like a pair of stockings so there you go there's the mesh and then there is the top there where you have your velvet really pretty i mean you really don't need a light if you don't you know you don't even know it's there because it is so flush to the bottom you can't even see it so let me see if we can light this one up here and there you go so if I kind of cup it a little bit, you get a better idea. So there it is, but it's just beaming to you the way the camera's picking it up. But if I kind of cover it a little bit, you get the idea. So again, if you had a couple of these together, OMG, how pretty. So they had purple, they had this orange, and they had black. I was like, what? My favorite two colors here right now, purple and black, OMG. Some of the pieces have a little bit of string, um, and it's basically from the hot glue gun. So just pull those off. No big deal. Uh, let me light this one up for you. So here it is with nothing, which is, it's pretty. But see, right down in there, it's super, super small. That little light right there, you don't have to use it if you don't want to. There it is. But obviously you're just getting, so see how it kind of like glows a little bit? At least that's what it looks like to me. But let me cover up some of the um, bulb right there and you can kind of get an idea of what it looks like. They're really pretty. What a, a nice little conversation piece. I think a couple, like I said, a couple of these across a table with maybe some candy corn in the middle would be just super fun. All right, moving on. Staying with Halloween, I finally, finally found these ghosts, they're in ceramic. They are a little bit over four inches tall. They have um, a big bulky tag on here. It's crazy, but here is what, let me try to get this out of the way. There is what they look like. It almost to me looks like Cousin It. I love the Adams Family. I thought it was great. I, would, I still watch it now if I can catch it. I still watch the monsters. Um, yeah, I'm weird like that, but that's what it reminds me of Cousin It. So perfect for a tiered tray. Everything is ghost this year. I had one of these last year. I don't know what happened to it. I can't find it. It's in my Christmas bin, I'm sure. This one has lights. Oh yeah, you can see them quite well. So this thing gets kind of crazy. I was gonna say it gets kind of crazy because it starts flashing. I don't know if I'm a super big fan of the flashing. 
I would rather it just either change slowly with the lights um, or maybe just stay one solid color. Um, I don't know. I'm not sure how I feel about it. But you know what? That works good too. <laughs> I'm just saying if it's got batteries and you can shut it off, by all means. All right. Let's continue to move on with some other Halloween things here. Whoops. Before I just drop everything I just have here to show all of you. All right. I got two of these, but I'm just going to share one with you right now. These are glass. They're about three and a half inches tall. And you put your own candle in there. Let me spin it around because that's just a, you know, a little sticker there. But there it is. Look at these little skull dudes jumping around. I thought they were so cool. They're just like, you know, all that and a bag of chips doing the job. Jiggy, jiggy, do, do, job and do. Okay, I won't sing for all of you. All right, that's kind of fun. So I'm interested to see what that looks like lit up. Also, oh yes, oh my gosh, I don't know if I can put more on my head, but I found this down the Halloween section. It's by a company called Just Pretending. I'm starting to see a lot of stuff with that name, Just Pretending, up there. And look at what it is. It's a unicorny horny. There it is. It's a unicorny horny headpiece. So, I don't know. I already got a headband going on that wasn't, like, planned. But just to give you guys an idea... Here we go. You know, leave it to me to, like, let me see if I can back up a little bit here. Oh, let me see. You guys see it okay? Yeah, you guys know me. Um, I have a niece back home in Chicago who loves unicorns, so that is going to her. If she's not watching, oh, she's probably not. No, it's about 6 o'clock Chicago time today, so she's probably not watching, but that's going to her because I think that's really, really cute. All right, I found a couple more pairs of Halloween socks. You guys know me and my socks. I love my socks. All right, what do we got here? We've got some socks. All right, nothing tops my Frank socks right now. All right, these are crew socks. These could go, I don't care who you are. You got a foot, so you can put it on your foot. These are size six to 12, so they're just a little bit bigger. If your foot's a little bit bigger. And these are crew socks, and let me see here. Both socks have the design on it. I'm hoping that you're going to be able to see. And it basically says, I put a spell on you. Isn't there a new Hocus Pocus movie coming out? Is that me hearing things or was I dreaming again? Heard something about that. Um, and also there's a, isn't there a Pinocchio movie coming out with Tom Hanks as well? That should be entertaining. I like Tom Hanks. I really do. I think he's an awesome actor. All right. I squirreled. Where's my squirrel? I put a spell on you. I got it all spellbound and went crazy. You got a green witch's hat. And then it says I put a spell on you in writing. And then there's that big goblin right down in there with all kinds of potions and goos falling out. I also found this pair here, which these are a little smaller. So they had all different sizes. These are size five through nine. These have this big old kitty cat on there. I tried to bend the tag up a little bit more for you because there's a big bat up there. And then it says, boo, and they're done in purple and black. And again, the kitty cat is on both sides and both pairs of the socks. And then they have this one here, which is in a knee high now, which is a lot longer, five through nine. Again, this is a knee high now, first time seeing knee highs. And it says, creep it real. Big old spidey. Is there anything above the spider? I don't think there's... Oh yeah, there's another spider like hanging from a web up there. I just can't get it from under the tag. And last but not least, I finally found them. And these are knee highs as well. And these are the gnomies. I can't believe I finally found them. I, I really didn't think I was going to find them because they are quite popular. Um, but I did find them. So these actually match um, what there's like oven mitts there's pot holders so these guys are kind of like all matching i think there's even some napkins if i'm not mistaken so there's a lot going on with those um characters this year as far as like matching and things like that okay <clears throat> moving on i finally found well i shouldn't say i finally found i did find something that i had put on my wish list that i had seen other youtubers hauling and this is this coffee Makes me want to have a cup of coffee, which actually, it's not coffee, but I do have some tea right here. So I'm going to be not rude, but I'm just going to take a sip of my tea. I have my Witch Brew Way, uh, Ray Dunn cup going on here. All right, so <clears throat> these are four ounces. You want to talk about doing a 
I don't want to say Christmas already, but yeah, I guess I can. How about stocking stuffers? I mean, for a buck and a coin, usually you would get a little itty bitty bitty bag that they come out with, but this is a great buy. So Jim Bean Bourbon Vanilla, four ounces of coffee. Um, best by August 12th of 2023, plenty of time. How about if you have a coffee bar in your home and you wanna put these on your coffee bar? How pretty and cool would these look? Found a couple different versions here of this stuff. So I came across, I have no idea how many versions there are, but these are just the ones that I found. So Jim Beam Bourbon Vanilla, then we have Jim Beam Original. They're both in four ounces. I also found one other flavor. And this is Junior's. Most Fabulous Brooklyn Blend Medium Roast Ground Coffee. Junior's makes an awesome cheesecake. OMG, OMG, but even coffee. So I'm definitely, I don't know what I'm going to try first. I think I'll try this stuff first. Maybe I'll make a pot of this tomorrow morning and use this. Um, I did get a couple of each because I thought, you know what? Go into the track, throwing stuff into the trailer. If you need something and you, you're out of coffee and you go, oh my gosh, wait, I have one of these in my coffee cabinet. You know, you just never know. Um, I thought these would be fun. Um, here's another perfect idea. I'm just saying cup one of these put some fluff in there one of these couple candy canes boom you just made a school teacher's gift or just a because gift or a bus driver gift or who knows what gift all right moving on <laughs> i did find one other thing in the halloweeny aisle and then we're off to halloween land and out of it this is 8.6 ounces whoops let me move the tag out of the way it is the pump bottle and it is the skull bottle soap I have a ghost in my bathroom. I have one in my kitchen. And I'm not sure where I'm going to put this guy yet. Maybe I'll put this guy up in the shop because the shop is just full of grease and dirt and everything else going on. So this guy would probably blend right in. Um, so I'm going to give that a try. Just my opinion. The same soap is in there that's in the ghost one. Um, again, just my opinion. I'm not a real big fan of it. When it's done, I just pour my own soaps in there. And then I just reuse them for the next or following year unless they get broken or damaged in somehow. But... I don't think, in my opinion, the soaps are all that, but hey, that's just me. All right, moving on here. I did find in the, I haven't showed you guys any snacks or toys. How bad am I? How about Bakersfield, which is basically Dollar Tree brand. Sprinkles Halloween, 2.4 ounces. We needed sprinkles for cookies. I should say I needed sprinkles for cookies. And I thought that was a pretty decent buy. Again, you know, you get 2.4 ounces. It's the orange, black, and the white. Basically, your little... Uh, what are these called? They have a bakery name. Jimmy's. They call them Little Jimmy's. So got me some of those for cupcakes. Those look good on um, even chocolate frosting because of the orange and the white pop out really, really nicely. All right. I also got for treats. Came across these, which I thought were, I had never seen these before. Halloween edition Sour Dudes Sour Straws. Boo Berry flavor. You get five ounces and they're actual straws. So I'm thinking in my brain, okay, when I start making like treats and sweets and cupcakes and stuff, these are so thin and because they're hollow in the middle, I'm thinking decorations on cupcakes and just doing things and spider legs are popping in my brain. And so I grabbed that for basically like um, decorating tops of cookies or cakes. Another way of jumping outside the box. <laughs> You guys should know me by now. All right. I did find one other thing I'm going to share with all of you, and that was a new blind bag. All righty. Sonic the Hedgehog. He was super, super popular way back in the day. Um, I wasn't a big fan. I guess it just wasn't my thing, but I know lots of people that were. I picked up three of these, and what they are. So it's Sonic the Hedgehog. Collect them all. And it's Super Clip Charms. And you get one charm in each bag. Um, it doesn't say how many you can collect. It just shows one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different ones on the back. So here's the front of the bag. Here's the back of the bag. And 
I have three. So pick one. Which one? Which one? Which one? Which one? Which one? This one? Okay. So let's open this up together. I can feel it's like way up here. So I'm just going to shake it down a little bit. It does have a little tear thing right there. You guys always get to find out before I do because you guys always get to see it before I do. And there it is right there. So let's check it out. These are always fun for stockings. There is no paperwork in there. And this is, wow, that's a pretty good size piece. So you have this big plastic clip right there. And then there you go. That's pretty big. And it says time for games. Arr, look at that face. Arr, time for games. It is one of those like rubbery plastic kind of things. Very, I mean, that's a good size. There's a good three and a half inches right there. Quite nice backpack, a purse, or anywhere you want it to be. All right, everybody, as usual, more stuff, just not enough time. I will save it for the next Dollar Tree haul. I hope everyone has a wonderful evening. Thank you so much for watching. If you're brand new, I just wanted to say thank you so much for stopping by and staying. If you have any questions or comments, as always, hit me up down below, everyone. Until next time, bye for now.